What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at an app that almost every employee uses, the Attendances app. With Odoo, there are a couple different ways we can check in and out of work using the Attendances application. Knowing when your employees are checking in and out is important so we can see who's putting in extra time or maybe not working their full shift. This helps our HR department and managers evaluate their teams and perhaps make some adjustments where needed. But hey, that's for next tutorial. For now, let's check out how we check in with Odoo. All right, as long as we have the attendances application installed, any user can check in to work on our main Odoo dashboard and in any application. Now, these icons here up at the top right always remain on the screen no matter where you are in the database. This dot right here tells me my status. It's currently red, which means I'm not assigned. If I click into it, I can check in by clicking check in. And just like that, I'm checked in. See our circle is now green. All the info I need is displayed, including when I checked in. And it currently says zero right now, but hey, that'll change over time. And of course, we also have a checkout button. So if I wanted to check out, I would just click this button right here. All right, now let's navigate to the Attendances app and open up our configuration menu to take a closer look at our settings. Here on the settings page, there are a handful of options that you can customize to fit your company's attendances related needs. First off, there are a few options that we can look at here in the modes section. The kiosk mode setting determines how each employee will be identified in the attendances app. By default, Odoo provides you with the option of using a barcode slash RFID in manual selection, which we'll be using today. This means you can either scan a barcode of an employee badge, manually enter an ID, or select someone from a master list of employees to check them in for the day. But we also have a handy link to this documentation here to help set up your kiosk right below. I've also enabled this automatic checkout option, which checks out employees who forgot to do so at the end of their shift. When I enable this, I can set a tolerance, and I'll leave this to the default two hours. So if someone's supposed to leave at five, Odoo will automatically check them out at seven if they haven't checked themselves out yet. As you can see, I also have an attendances backend option enabled, which is what allows that attendance dot to appear throughout the database. Now we also have a absence management option. This determines if we want to have our absences appear on our attendances app reporting, but that's for another tutorial. Next, we're gonna scroll down to our kiosk settings. First off, we have our barcode source. This determines what is used to scan the employee's barcode. We have the options of the front camera of your laptop, the back camera of your phone, or just a regular scanner, which we're going to be using today. And directly below that, we have our employee pin identification. And this feature allows employees to use a pin when they check in or out. This adds an extra layer of security when manually checking in, so be sure to keep this enabled. Next, we have our display time, which I talked about earlier. This determines the amount of time those check-in and check-out status windows remain on the screen for the employee to see. The default setting for this option is 10 seconds, but you can choose to leave it up for as long as you see fit. Now, last thing in this section, we have our attendance kiosk URL. Here, you can copy and paste this URL into your kiosk device to access the kiosk. If the kiosk URL has been compromised, you can create a new one by simply clicking on generate new URL. Now, at the bottom, of the settings page, we have our extra hours settings. This section includes settings that control what happens when an employee works more than the hours they're scheduled for. We have fields for different tolerance times that we can modify. One is in favor of the company and the other one's in favor of the employee. This is essentially a buffer time that you can set, which will either benefit the company or the employee. Let's chat about what that means. For example, if we leave the default to 15 minutes for both, tolerance time in favor of the company would allow a 15 minute grace period if an employee logs time over their planned work schedule. If they check in at nine and check out at 9.10, they will not be credited for those extra 10 minutes. Tolerance time in favor of an employee would allow a 15 minute grace period if an employee logs time that is less than their planned work schedule. 
So if they check in at 9.12 and check it at 5, they will not be penalized for working 12 minutes less. Next, we have our display extra hours option. This feature allows us to compare the employee's working hours to existing attendance entries. When an employee logs attendance hours over their scheduled working time, those hours will be logged as extra hours that an employee can use as time off. It also allows an employee to store extra hours to use when requesting time off. You can learn more about that in our time off video. And last but not least, we have our extra hours validation setting, and this is automatically set to automatically approved. This means that extra hours worked will automatically be converted to time off hours. If we were to change this to approved by manager, the employee's manager must approve this extra time. So be sure to keep in mind all of these settings and adjust yours accordingly. And as always, if you made any changes, don't forget to click save before moving on. Now let's check out our attendances kiosk. Here at the top, we have our kiosk mode button. So we're just gonna click into this, which will result in a pop-up window. And from here, all we have to do is click the link. All right, from this simple kiosk, you have a couple of options. If I wanna check in with my employee badge, all I have to do is get my scanner and scan my employee badge. And just like that, I'm checked in and I'm welcome with this pop-up window presenting me with all my check-in information. On the screen is the check-in date and time. And if I checked in previously that day, which I have, it'll display my previously logged hours. So let's pretend my workday's over and it's time to check out. Now, what if I forgot my badge? Happens all the time. In that case, all I have to do is click identify manually, which presents me with a list of employees from our entire company. This is the same information presented in the employees application. If there's a lot of employees, I can either filter by department here on the left, or I can simply just search my name here at the top. And there I am. So we'll just click into my profile. And now I just need to enter my extremely secure and unique pin. And just like that, I am now checked out. Now to close out the goodbye screen before it does it for me, and so the next employee doesn't see my personal information, then when I click goodbye to close out that screen, all I do is return to the basic check-in page. Now, one last thing, let's go back to our tab that's open in our Odoo database real quick. All right, now that we're back in our database, I'm just gonna go back to our main dashboard and open up another app. Whoa, my session has expired. Odoo makes sure that after you access the kiosk, you are signed out of the database to keep everything nice and secure. They really thought of everything. Well, that does it for this tutorial on attendances. Tune into our other attendance tutorials where we'll dive deeper into managing attendances and more. Till next time, I'm checking out.